1750, long before flight, the first patent for glue was issued in Britain. Back then, adhesives were made from mostly natural ingredients, including fish, natural rubber, animal bones, vegetable starches, and milk protein or casein. This explains why Elmer glue sports a picture of Elmer the cow. Adhesives and sealants have a long history in aviation and were instrumental in early aircraft inventions when flying machines were typically made from wood and cloth. Early uses of aircraft adhesives and sealants were more for adhesion than for sealing. It was more important to hold parts together than to seal for weather or corrosion. With modern, metal-based aircraft, adhesives and sealants are primarily specified to prevent moisture incursion, thereby preventing corrosion. The evolution of aircraft design was tied to watercraft structural design, but soon abandoned wood as the primary component, substituting metals, particularly aluminum, duraluminum, and honeycomb aluminum panels for lighter weight, longer life, and greater structural strength. Adhesives followed these advances with increasingly stronger and more durable glues and a greater reliance on adhesives to hold plants together. Adhesives in aircraft structural design hit their stride in the late 1960s when Boeing 727, 737, and 747 were prevalent in the skies and fabricated using an adhesive cold bond lap joint in the fuselage skins. Scrutiny of adhesives in aircraft production mushroomed when, on April 28, 1988, Aloha Airlines Flight 243 experienced rapid decompression. An 18-foot-long section of the fuselage roof and sides was torn from the airplane. The NTSB determined that the probable cause of this accident was a failure of the Aloha Airlines maintenance program to detect the presence of significant disbonding and fatigue damage, which ultimately led to the failure of the lap joint at spar line 10 left and the separation of the fuselage upper lobe. Blame was also placed on the FAA and Boeing's cold bond lap joint design. According to BAC 5000, persons involved in the mixing, applying, and inspection of adhesives and sealants should be certified by taking an 8-hour course. Certification lasts for 12 months. Inspectors for face surface and prepack seal inspection should be certified every 24 months. No certification is required for wet installation of fasteners for pressure and corrosion prevention general sealing of fasteners for corrosion prevention, and sealing of bushings and bearings.